Hello, my name's Stuart Herbert and this is one of a set of videos I'm recording showing how I've set Sublime Text 2 up for PHP development. In the previous video we installed Package Control, our very first plugin, and we installed Soda, which is a new theme to change how Sublime Text 2 looks, it's a skin, and I installed a syntax highlighting scheme as well. What I'm going to do in this video is focus on setting up your per user preferences. Now, out of the box, Sublime Text 2 ships with a default settings file, which is available here. And I'm not going to go through everything in this file. Um, to be honest, I think this is best left for you to go and explore and for you to decide what you enjoy um, and what you want to change. There's a lot to this file and when you upgrade Sublime Text 2, something I recommend you do early and often, it's always worth coming back in here and having a look and see what else has changed and what new features are available. Now to override these settings, the obvious temptation is to edit this file directly. My advice is don't do that. Instead the thing to do is to put your settings in the user settings file. If I open that here you can see in the tabs we can now tell the difference between the user file and the default file because the folder that each um, each file is in is part of the tab name so it makes it very easy to see. So here's my current user settings file. There's a few things in here, what we did in the last video, the colour scheme and the theme. And here's one I prepared earlier which is a substantially larger listing. So I'm just going to cut and paste in. Here we go. Right. And I can just trim this down a bit. There we go. Right. So I'm also choosing to override the font I want line highlighting on and by that what I mean is in here if I select a line at the minute the gutter is highlighted but nothing else but if I save the user settings file right now aha there's an error because this isn't valid JSON now where's my mistake it's that comma there at the end of there so I've turned that off save it. And now you can see how this line highlights. I find that much easier to work with. You'll also notice that this line here has appeared when I save the settings file. Now this is the ruler. and I've set it to 80 characters by default. But you can put your own in, you can change it. This is the set here, rulers. The other thing I've done is I've put translate tabs to spaces in. I'm a great believer that you don't put tabs in PHP files or C files. It's fine with Python with the way its uh, indentation works. But the one true way is spaces. And that's one of the fantastic things about Sublime Text 2. It copes with all of that nonsense. So I work in an office where some of us use um, spaces. The majority use tabs. And with Sublime Text 2 it works it out and sorts it all out in the background. And it's just made those tabs versus spaces issues, issues just completely disappear. It's fantastic for that. And another setting I've got switched on, which is get rid of any training white space when you save the file. And that's how you tailor your settings for Sublime Text 2 which means we're now ready to go and install some plugins which is what we'll start doing in the next video thank you for watching